Hey guys, what's up? It's Jackson the Legend here. Today I'm here with another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install and use the new experimental 1.18 snapshots. But before we get onto that, let's have a look at what is an experimental snapshot. Now, the latest changes as we move forward towards the 1.18 update will be added onto these experimental snapshots and not the data packs. That is because they are too big to be added onto the Caves and Cliffs data pack. The data pack is still a 1.18, but it doesn't include some of the big changes. However, the data pack is much more stable than the experimental snapshots. Now, you might be wondering what is actually included in these experimental snapshots. Well, it includes new world heart generation, which takes us below zero on the Y coordinate and above allows us to build above 255 um, on the Y coordinate, which we couldn't do before. It also adds lush caves as well as dripstone caves. Mobs will now only spawn in total darkness. This is because Mojang have realized that lighting up some of those huge caves is going to be very, very tricky. They've also added large ore veins, cheese, spaghetti, and noodle caves. New biomes, um, including meadow, snow-capped peaks, groves, and lofty peaks. And then as well as that, they've um, changed how mob spawners function. So mob spawners will spawn in up to lights of 11. They've done this to make them trickier because Mojang believe it has been too easy to sort of conquer a mob spawner to go in there. Because you, you normally can just go in there and light it up, but with this change, it'll make it a bit harder. Now they are still experimenting with these and they could be, they could be more added or removed, um, but those are the ones currently available at the time of this recording. Now it still is an experimental snapshot. This means there are several known issues with these experimental snapshots and probably a few unknown issues. This includes low performance. Um, they are actually working on performance slowly, but it takes more resources on your computer to run. The nether terrain can be messed up sometimes when going to the nether. As well as that, end pillars don't generate. So when you're on these worlds, you really are just on here to experiment and play with the overworld and the new changes. Be aware that these experimental snapshots currently aren't compatible with any of the latest Minecraft snapshots. Um, as well as that, we may, as far as we know right now, not be able to actually import these into 1.18 when it comes out of these worlds. So anything you do on here might be very temporary, so you don't really want to start a super, super great world on here just yet. Now, to install these experimental snapshots on Java, go to the page linked in the description down below. It'll link you to this, and you want to scroll down until you see this right here. How do I get the experimental snapshot? Then you want to go over to here and click this download the zip file. Once you've done that, you can close down your web browser. Now, open up your file explorer, like this, and then go to downloads you should see your 1.18 experimental snapshot. Then double click on this to unzip the file. Then you want to grab this file from inside of uh, this folder here and drag it back into downloads. And it should look like this. Now that you've done this, you can close down this window here. I'm just gonna shorten this window here and move it to the side. Then we want to go to our windows and type in percent app data percent and click and open that like this should put you into a roaming folder. So I've got users, jacks, app data, roaming. You will have something else here. Then you want to go to dot Minecraft and scroll down to where you find versions. Now I've got a few more folders here than say you would. That's just because of mods I've got installed, but there will be this versions folder here. Double click on that and then drag and drop this folder here into that um, versions folder like this. You can see it's been moved to the bottom then close down both of these folders, make sure your Minecraft is closed down, then open it again like this, open up your Minecraft launcher. Now, go over to installations here, press new installation, then you can name this whatever you want, I'm gonna name mine 1.18, and then choose any sort of block, I'll use a glass block. Then go and find this pending 1.18 experimental snapshot and click on that. Now that you've got this, you wanna come down here and click create, then click play and go and find that version. Now mine is going to be at the bottom here. And once I have done that, I click play. Now it will say this um, game has been modified. That is because this is an experimental version. Then it will finish installing it. 
and then it will open up. Now once it's loaded, it acts like any regular Minecraft. You can go into single player and create your new world. When you load it, you'll have the new 1.18 experimental snapshot. I just got to press proceed here and my world has loaded. And you can see I've actually spawned right on a new sort of area, new mountain generation. If I go over this, you can actually see that we have a full new area. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? So now you guys know how to install and play on the experimental snapshots for 1.18. So that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and remember to subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys later. And remember, stay carbonated.